What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Perpetually Abroad. I'm walking here on the streets of Hanoi and I'm gonna try the MRT, subway or underground, however you wanna call it. Usually people drive around on their bikes. But I'm outside the uh, train station called uh, Gat Ling. This is like the first station on the line 2A and that's the only line that's open as of now. I'm just gonna go a few stations down the line so it looks kind of like a modern MRT, I have to say. And here you have some uh, information about the line. 2A, and that's the one that's been operating since uh, November 2021. So you have the first one there called Ga, Katling Ga, it's like station. And the last one is called Ian Nghia. But we're not going all the way there. I'm thinking uh, we can just go like maybe one, two, three, four, maybe four or five stations. Here guys, you can see the price as well. So they have a monthly ticket of 200K, which is like $9. And they have a daily ticket as well, 30,000, which is like $1.5 or 1.3, something like that. And they have the price here per station. So we're starting here at Gatling, 8,000. 8,000 for the second one, 9, 10, and just increases like that. So according to this one, if I only go to the, to the station, it should be 10K. Pupils, students, workers, monthly price, they have a discount of half the price. So that's pretty good. Then you have uh, employees at offices, businesses outside industrial zones, monthly pass, 140. So uh, yeah, they have quite a lot here. So let's go and see, uh, check out the toilet as well. And it's really cold today, guys. So I'm also wearing a mask mainly because I'm so cold, you know, so it just helps for the cold air as well. So just taking the escalator up. Let's see if I can buy the ticket myself here. Okay, so let's see how convenient it is. Okay, so uh let's see we're going to the this station Ding, right so let me see if it's just press i'm pressing not very responsive oh yeah so it's ten thousand, and uh, i'm just gonna confirm here i pay cash ten thousand and then said insert cash so it's pretty straightforward here guys so i'm just going to insert the 10k dong here okay so like that okay so i'm just going to confirm again i guess and there's our ticket and the ticket is pretty modern it's like a card it's not just a coin or a token or anything like that it's a proper proper card pretty good design I have to say looks fairly uh, fairly good and this is what the area looks like guys so you can see it's uh, now it's Tuesday and it's about 11 a.m. so um, not many people here I don't know about the rush hour so I guess you just do like that pretty simple and now we're through, but I really want to find the toilet first, guys. You go up to the train there, but I really need to use the toilet first. So let's check out the toilet and see the quality and the standard. But so far, so good, guys. Singlet, and they even have elevator for disabled people. Pretty good. They have a handicapped toilet as well, if you need that. And some modern signs. I mean, the toilet looks pretty, uh, it actually doesn't look very new, to be honest, but it's better than nothing. All right, guys, so there's not even soap where you can wash your hands. So that's pretty disappointing. I think that's the bare minimum you can ask for, you know, some soap, maybe some paper towels or the, at least a hand dryer uh, machine. It just shows the lack of uh, hygiene here in Vietnam, unfortunately. I mean, it's not that hard to have like a soap dispenser on the wall here or something like that. But it is what it is, guys. So let's head out and uh, check out the uh, train and everything. Alright guys, so this is a platform, 
it looks pretty normal. Uh, the only thing that doesn't look uh, normal or compared to other countries is this uh, barrier here. I mean, I, it says uh, you cannot sit on this chair. So I don't really know what that means in practice because they probably have different kinds of uh, uh, cabins or something like that where you can sit. So maybe they are not open for all the, the whole train. I, I'm not sure, but this is what it looks like, guys. They have one staff here as well. It looks like uh, just a normal uh, modern MRT subway train. I think it looks pretty good actually. I know it's pretty new, but it looks uh, a little bit cleaner than I expected, to be honest, which is a, which is a good thing. Uh, pretty interesting, keep silent. That's not gonna be easy in Vietnam. <laughs> pretty simple colors as well, green and yellow and white. Uh, they have actually been working on this for over 10 years. So I think it was back in 2010, they started working on the first uh, station, which is th this one. The aim is to build um, basically a 30, 300 kilometer uh, long line of railways or subway uh, railways with a lot of different stations all over. Okay guys, just arrived here at uh, Thuc Ding Station. Everything went very good. I mean, it's very smooth. It's cleaner than I thought. So, so far very good, but let's uh, get down and let's buy a ticket to go back. So this station kind of looks like the first one. Fairly okay, but again, like the toilets, things wear down pretty quickly here in Vietnam. You can see the wall there, for example, but it's not bad, you know, it's not. Let's see the exit uh, procedure here. Smooth. Very easy, guys. So, uh, yeah, so far, so good. Very nice. Uh, yeah, guys, I have to say I'm, I'm happily surprised about the MRT here, the subway, underground, whatever you want to call it. Uh, very clean and it's a very sustainable way of transporting a lot of people because obviously, Vietnam grows a lot. Their population growth is uh, very high still. You need to find different kind of uh, solutions for transportation. You know what I mean? Also the pollution, because the pollution is very bad here in Hanoi. So this is a great alternative. So I'm very happy to see that, you know what I mean? Okay, let's buy a ticket to go back, but I'm not going back to the first station. I'm actually going just here. As you can see, it's only 9,000 there, so I'm going to confirm and confirm again. And I got 1K and the ticket. A very nice experience. I just paid 10k for a single ticket. 
But in general, I would say it's a very good experience. The price was good. It's fairly clean in there. The train, the inside of the train was cleaner than I expected, actually. I was expecting some rubbish somewhere and uh, stuff like that, but it was very clean. The only downside was the toilet in the main station, Gatlin, which didn't have soap even. But other than that, it's a very good thing. And like I said before, it's a good thing for the country as well. So I just wanted to show you guys and experience it myself. I just want to take you guys on that trip. So uh, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe the video and share it. Until next time, take care and I'll see you guys later.